Hi everyone, it's Silver, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about skill gaming in Second Life. Um, skill gaming can be compared kind of to gambling a little bit, but not everyone is allowed to do it. I'm going to link the Second Life wiki page about skill gaming, but first off, you need to be over 18 actually at least over 19. To be able to go to a skill gaming region, you have to have a billion information on file. You have to be at least 19 years old, not in a prohibited state, and you're not connecting from a prohibited state. Like if you're traveling, you have your laptop with you, if that state doesn't allow it, you can't go. So the states in the United States that you cannot go to a skill gaming sim are as follows, Arizona, Arkansas, Delaware, Florida, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Nevada, South Carolina, South Dakota, and Tennessee. And only approved games are on here. So today, I'm just going to show you guys how to play No Devil. I am on Sky Games. It used to be known as Diamond Skies. I've come here a lot over the years. Um, the owner Marina Sharpton owns it and I got permission from her um, a few weeks ago to record on the sim. I could record No Devil and I can record greedy tutorials of how to play greed which I'm going to do in a later video but not today. But Sky Games, they have Greed here, No Devil, Foreplay and a few other games and they also do entertainment and trivia and they have DJs here sometimes as well. So we're going to play No Devil. I play this a lot if the machines res. The score on top of the machine is the score that you have to beat. So I need to beat 39999 to win and it would be two times what I pay in. So let's try a 25 linden game. Also starting a new game, it'll talk to you in local. So let's bring up this. So you go down and you see what number you have. So 71, 52, 41, we have 23. And the goal is to find the spider or the multiplier. So there's a one times multiplier and then there's a two times. If you find both the multipliers and then you don't find the spider before you find the multipliers, then it's gonna decrease your multipliers. Like I said, I'll explain as you go. Next spin, there's a one. Oh, that means gray arrow means spider is in that row or close by. So that means the red one means there's a multiplier in this row somewhere. 40. Oh, that means multiplier is 46 or 72. Since I think I might be able to get the spider first, let's hit 64. It's 46. See, by process of elimination, you can figure out where things are. 121, 67, 47. So 46, and then if you follow that arrow, it's 46 and 24. Those are your multipliers. It's either 7, 9, or 3 for the spider. Next, 14, 16, 36. It's number 7. See? Process of elimination. You follow the arrows, and you'll see where it is. So we're going to get a 7, 24, or 46. Oh, we got 46 first. But I have 18 rounds left. So I'm just going to go ahead and risk it. 13, 26, 43, 53. See, now this is a 2 times multiplier. If I hit a 7, I got a 7, I hit it, it will be down to 1. We have 12. 7, which we won't touch. Let's do 50. And we ignore the 7 because we know that's a spider. 14, then we have 19. 4, 30, 33, 60, 73. We have 20, 75, 56. 2, 29, 35. Three. Apparently, it's not going to give me the 24. 36, 12, 
23. Are you kidding me? Sorry. Sometimes, like, sometimes the game is so easy and other times it's like you only need certain numbers and you just get frustrated, which is why I really shouldn't gamble, but I do. Oh, Joker round. This round, you get all Jokers, so you can do it anywhere. So let's hit the 24. It gets triple multiplier. That's 39. That clears a row. We only have four turns left, so let's just go ahead and do 72. And then we do seven. You get bonus points because you cleared the letter, but you did get the spider. So now you're down to a two times multiplier instead of a three. So only letters left, numbers left to get our 9, 42, and 61 to clear the board. Oh, we got a nine. So 42 and 61. I wonder if we'll clear the board. 66. Nope. See? Because mystery sport. Question marks are a mystery store. I forgot to explain it. It pops up in the local. Like, if you get a question mark, you'll get mystery store. And then it's like super joker bonus. And anytime you get another joker, it adds points to your score. I just forgot how much it is. 75, 40, and 45, 64. And we beat 39. And I got paid 50 linden. See? Oh. I had replay here. I did not know. I have not been here in a few days. You have 101 credit remaining and you have 126 London to cash out directly. Okay. Well, let's do another game. Apparently, yeah. And shouts and everything. Just, yeah. Let's do another. Let's do a 50 game since we know we have credit now. And I'll show you guys this again. And hopefully, I'm explaining this better. 69, 60. 39 no arrows anywhere oh wait arrow right there so it's either 8 or 23 15 it's 23 so you want to try to get it or avoid it 4 29 45 51 67 so 23 and 67 uh, there's no way to avoid it so let's just go ahead and take the 67 50, 37, 32 is your next multiplier, 5, 29, 14, 30, 33, 52, 73, 9, 21, 34, 58, 74. I would do 22. Uh, 66, 54, 31, 6, 32, 3, cross done, 47, 73, 6, 19, 44, 55, 64, 1, 23, 43, 69, 11, 46, 17, we still need 9,000 points, guys. A little over 9,000. 41. 70. Hmm. 67, 52, 41, 37. 5, 24. 40, 46, 62, 63, I don't think we're going to win this one, unless there's a miracle at the end of Jokers. Oh wait, 39. We got 39. Let's do 36, 49, and then we'll do 65. Oh, we're about to win. 15, 25, 74. And we got 100 Linden. It's pretty simple. I play a lot faster because it's just how I go. I go really fast in these games because it's really easy for me just to keep going, going, going. So with No Devil, there are different kinds of machines. There's the 2x, which is you get two times what you paid in. So I paid a hundred. Why did I do this game? I think I did a hundred this game. Oh no, I did 50. And then I got a hundred bag, but as like it goes on, 
but you can like move to the right, the prices increase. So this machine right here, you could do 25, 25, 50, 100, or 250, and then it goes up to 500, 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and then it goes up to 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, and then it stops. Someone's playing that one. I have show friends only on right here clicked on so I'm not seeing anyone else so those are all two signs of sheet well these start excuse me that was the end of two and then this starts to three and when you're playing as this person is right here the price that you paid in shows above the game they swap things around so it goes from five to seven to ten oh that's new to 20s are new that's crazy. Like, just imagine that you had the money to blow and you played 5,000 times 20. Times 20. That's 100,000 Linden. That's the slippery slope of gambling, guys. Oh, and then they have the 50 ones. Alex is going to kill me for this video later because I gamble like every day. <laughs> I'm a little gambling active. If I'm not doing anything else, if I'm not. CSRing or it's quiet or I don't have an idea for a photo or something. This is the main other thing I do in SL. I play games and I gamble a lot. So 50 times. Jeez. So those are those games right here. This is a different type. I haven't played this one. See, some of them are played only from contests. If the board yeah, this is the sniper awards cheat sheet i don't understand this one i can't explain it to you guys so i don't play it i know it's a newer one that's out on a few of the sims that one and this one then you have the old winx machines like if you beat a certain score as this resin let it resin the score to beat is forty six thousand four hundred and ninety nine. And if you beat it, this goes off and it will land on an X something. I believe it's 2, 3, 5, 10, maybe 20. Because a lot of places don't use these machines anymore because they kept giving a lot of issues. Either people weren't winning at all or people were like really winning. I mean, winning huge amounts because they could figure out when the machine might hit. So there was, there's th that type of machine, excuse me. <clears throat> and there's a different kind of, you beat 50,777 and then your wheel gets a spin and whatever it lands on, that's how much you're gonna be paid. So like the last person who won got paid three times what they paid in for. And then over here, back over here, these are the big mega wheels like you this is the one that's really hard to beat you need to be 73,999 for this wheel to even spin but if you get spin you can win a minimal of 10 times 10 times and it goes all the way up to 100 times no wait yeah 100 times or you can land on the jackpot and apparently right now the jackpot's at 10k Another fun thing with most places is you need to check and see if they have a replay board because that means 4% um, of the money that you're paying in, you'll get back in replay credits that sometimes you can cash out a bit of. Like right now, I'm in the running for one, but earlier it said that I have 126 to cash out. So I'll click cash out. Hello, Silver Child. Payment of 126 is scheduled and then I got paid out. I think that was days ago I have not been here in days and then also these other boards over here if you get a good high score you're in the running for a contest and after so many games are over you'll get paid out the winning like right now the top for that one is 181 but this is buy-in from gays for 25 to 100 linden and like the bigger you go like if it's 10 to 15k 
the bigger the prize pot. To see the person on top on this one will be getting 28,100 and 129 games. But you, that's the thing, like with the games ones, as many games are played, sometimes places aren't busy. So it might take a few, if you get a really great score and you're in that ranking, but you don't get paid that day, it's because not enough people played enough games for the number of games left to go down. So either you need to keep playing or you need to accept it kind of forget about it a little bit and then one day you'll be like oh I got money da, 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 type deal like early this morning earlier this morning because I was gone this morning because I had physical therapy this morning I logged in and scrolling down see I played somewhere else and right here I was at DPSW and I got number two score in the 500 to two 2,500 Linden games, and I got number two score with 90, 95,041 points, and I won 1,588 Linden. So, like I said, it, I don't want to say there's benefits to gambling because there really isn't. It's a horrible habit that needs to stop. <laughs> but it's just something that I do to pass the time. And there are even older Wink machines. I remember this one. I remember them looking like this. Because, yeah, it used to be 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Like, these are the really old Winks. And then other games that they have here, they have Spin the Pot. Which is kind of like a... I want to say it's like low, no double. It's like number matching and you're trying to get a decent enough score to win. Then there is... For play, which I have never fully understood, so I really don't play it that much. I know Alex used to play it a bit. I think he understands it much better than I do. Then there is, see, and then the shout games, you get replay credits because there's Kingo. Kingo's way upstairs at this place. I'm going to have to show you guys that too. Then there's this other game. Oh, I'm still the last person who won on this. Okay, this game is so much fun. I have to play around to this while I'm here with you guys. So it's called Crazy Animals. Let's pay 25 linden. Well, see, so select your animal. So I'm going to choose a rabbit. Okay, your rabbit score will be two times whatever you land on. The goal is not to land on the backs. If you land on the back, you have to go back to the start. And if it's the animal you selected, the game's automatically over. So let's hit roll and let's see. We can move our draft three so it jumps over that space. And then let's move our gator one and then we'll move our gator two also. And then that rolls over because you only take three at a time. So road number two. Okay, I can move my bunny one and then three, so it'll be one, two, three, so it should land like right here underneath that end. And then we can move gator two, elephant one, or tiger two. It's, it, this game's a little bit about strategy because once you hit back, uh, animal hits back, that animal never shows up again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the lion out of the equation. Like you heard that boing, it, it's, it's grayed out, you can't play it anymore. So next we have, let's go ahead and take the elephant out of the equation too. So let's do a draft one and then let's do a gator three. We end up right behind that back. Round number four. Okay. If we do a gator two, a bunny two, I can't do a bunny one because we'll end up on that back space. And then do another gator two. That's up to 2k points right there. And let's roll number five. Okay. We can't move the bunny. We can move the gator one, gator two, and then a giraffe two. And then we roll again. We can move our bunny three. 
our gator won, and we're gonna have to sacrifice the giraffe because either the gator goes all the way back and it's out, or it's the giraffe. So bye, giraffe. And then we have bunny one, gator two, and then another two. Twenty-five thousand points for crossing the finish, but it's not my animal, so the game keeps going on until round ten. So round number nine, all that's going to be shown left is bunnies. So let's move it one, two, and then another one. And then we have roll number nine, and then we should just go ahead and hit two, two, and a one. And I didn't win because I was 200 points off, 200. So that's how you play that one. It's it's fun. Yeah, it really occupies my time. And I'm gonna show off the rest of the sim in a second video I'm gonna do a little bit later. But for right now, here's one of the greedy tables. I have show friends only, so no one else is showing. But this is what the greedy table looks like, and there's different prize pods that people can win, and then there's a big score that you can keep an eye on and whatnot and every week you play you can get into the tournament and I'll explain more about that in the next video sorry about my camming today everybody but that's all I have for the moment I hope you guys enjoyed or if you have any questions at all I probably can explain them a bit better if you need it just I am me anytime anyways thanks for watching I hope you guys have a great day